So this is a narrow-headed ant for mica exceptor. And what I'm doing now is knocking the edges between the dark and the light. So I'm knocking them back with lots of tiny little marks so that they look shiny rather than just blocks of white. It takes a while, but it's it, it works quite well. Okay, so now it's the second pass with a slightly more dilute paint. Same thing again, knocking back those edges so that it looks like more of a natural transition. And so the eye just reads it as a kind of dull shine rather than as an awkward transition between dark and light. Okay, the abdomen's done. I've got the shine there. I mean, these other ones that I've done... I've left them a bit a bit brighter, so mm. anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um and the thorax is done, head's done, so now it's the easy bit, which is the antenna and the legs. And then for mica exector, the narrow headed ant, which you can tell because of this little curve here, which is very um, species specific. Um then he'll be done. But yeah, I'll check in in a few minutes. So the legs have all been done, making sure that there's the right number of segments and they're they're trickier than I thought because they go yellow and then slightly darker and then slightly darker down to black feet so now all I have to do with my little antkin um, is pop on the hairs he's got some rather carefully positioned hairs I'll do that then he's done for mica exacta the narrow-headed ant is done um, and that's F rufa for mica rufa the southern red wood ant that I did a couple of days ago and this one, you can see it's hairy. It's a hairy wood ant for mica lugubris. Um, so that's three of the seven completed. And the next one is the slave making blood red ant for mica sanguini, which I'm quite excited about because its thorax is very red. So that'll be fun.